Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we have something a little bit different. We've actually got the Toy Boater. So anybody that's a fan of uh, Top Gear uh, will kind of know this one. It's not actually the one in the background, but that's the actual base of it that I've actually used just as a normal car. So you can see kind of how you can use that as a normal car. Uh, this is another build by TJC05. And again, there will be a link in the description to his Planet Minecraft page. Um, so this is the actual base uh, kind of vehicle or truck. Um, it actually looks pretty cool just as its own. Just a normal kind of like truck. So this is what I've done. I've just shoved it into my world. Um, it just kind of like neatly fits into the whole thing. Um, so yeah, really, really nice and simple. We're going to just jump over to the tutorial world. I'll build the base truck and show you guys how to do that. And then I'll show you how to turn it into the Toy Boater from Top Gear. So let's get stuck into it. All right, guys. So here I am on my tutorial world. And here is the vehicle, the Toy Boater. So this, is, this you can see uh, all of its parts. So for example, the actual floaty device bits on it. Uh, the big motory bit that's on the back. Obviously, there was a huge one that uh, Jeremy Clarkson put on. Um, but yep, yeah, you can put this one in the water if you do. Uh, I think TGC actually put the, it, the water level right here. So it was just, you know, you can just about see the wheel arch just from the top. Um, but yep, yeah, looks pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to build the base kind of vehicle like I did on my one. So let's just go through the materials list. You're going to need quartz slab, you need quartz stair, block of quartz, note block, or some sort of grill. You can use furnace for it. That's just my really preferred texture for it. Also a ladder. Flower pot, black wool, a button, and glass. You're going to need a load of other stuff as well, but we'll get onto that uh, as we kind of go through the tutorial. So, first thing you need to do, grab your black wool, and what you're going to do is just place down one block, leave a block gap, and then place down another one. as your front two wheels. We are then going to have a four block gap, so you go one, two, three, four. Go to the fifth block, and you place that one down there. So, there you go, one, two, three, four in total. Then go over to the other side and just place down another block. And you're going to just shove your buttons on the outside. We've done loads of tutorials before. You'll kind of know why, uh, or not why we do it, but that we do that. Uh, I actually completely forgot about the stone slabs, but grab your stone slabs as well. And you're just going to join across these and just do it in the middle. Just the stone slabs in the middle, uh, joining bits. Then grab your quartz slab and do that at the front. And also do a bit on the back as well, like that. Then we're going to do, if you grab your block of quartz, we're just going to go across the back here. Leave that wheel there, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, leave the wheel, and just go across the front for the time being, so go 1, 2, 3, 4. Then on these wheel arches, just at the back, we're going to have upside down stairs, like that. But what we're going to do here is we're actually going to have a slab, a little bit different, so we're going to get a slab in there. And then behind that, obviously, we have a block, like that. So that gives you like a, a deeper uh, wheel arch on this bit. I think it looks pretty cool, actually, uh, that he's done that. Then what we can do is we can just put in a note block and also shove on a ladder. At the minute I'm not going to do anything here, I'll show you how to do the hood like I did. And what we can do is we can grab glass and we can also grab glass panes. So right here, go two blocks back, go to the third one, so you go one, two, three, you go one, two, three, three blocks of glass going across it. Then we're just going to have a glass pane behind that. I'm also going to have a glass pane on the side of that sticking out. These are your um, wing mirrors, basically. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks behind it. So we go one, two, three. So it should join that bit up. And you'll notice there's a little gap. So fill that up. And this part here, just fill up with um, a couple of quartz slabs in this bit. Just to go over the top of this, we're just going to go and put slabs on top of that bit. And then again, going forward like that. And now what we can do is we can grab a lever. I'm just going to put that underneath the wing mirror there. It's just something that I love doing on, on all of mine. I think it just adds detail. I know it's not on this one, but, you know, let's just make it up as we go along. Why not? Um, and then what you need to do is just grab the brick fence and just go up twice on the back of these, like that, just to do the uh, all those bits, like that. There we go. Uh, what I did on mine is if you just grab snow and also carpet, I put a piece of snow on the middle part here. Then on these bits, I put a carpet there, carpet there, and carpet there, because carpet is half the size of snow. There we go, if you, of your base snow, so you can actually see that it's half the size. So you can do stuff. You can also, you know, obviously just use purely use snow to actually do it, but um, I wanted like a really small uh, indent on it rather than a, rather than a bigger one. There we go, if we just put that back. There we go. So that's what I did on mine, um, as well as a load of other stuff, like, for example, Putting a sign on the side there, sign on the side there, and then this is where we'd actually credit 
TJC, so we're just going to do TJC05, which also is like the number plate or the make of the car, um, and it, technically, because he designed it, it is the make of the car. Or at least designed it in Minecraft, anyway. And the same on the back as well, so we've got to get one there, one there. And I can shove this on. Just like that. So there we go. And, yeah, I don't know if there's anywhere else we need to actually put them. I don't think there was any on underneath. Nope. So that's absolutely fine. So that kind of gives us the base design. That's the base design that... Um, I actually used, you can obviously put a seat in as well, I always forget about these, but it does make them look better. So yeah, shove it in the seat, there you go, like that. Uh, you can also put carpet on top of this if you wanted to, that sometimes makes it look a little bit better, but um, again, up to you. It depends on if you want this more open like in real cars do, because they, they do have it quite open and you can see quite far up. Uh, other little tiny bits, obviously you can do is like buttons and stuff to put in doors, or put the door and handle in there, or there, or whatever. Um, and obviously we got the lights as well. But I think we'll do that at the end because... Or, or not at the end, let's do it now. Two different ways you can do lights. Um, you can do it with actual torches. This is my preferred method. Reason being, it actually produces light. So at night time it looks really good. But it doesn't look as realistic. Uh, Huntington City with their 3D pack does actually have these as like headlamps now when you put them on the wall. But yep, so we can get those and we can have the actual torches on them. Um, the other one that's very, very popular... Uh, but does create some lag, so you have to be careful of this. Here's of course using item frames, and actually using kind of glass behind it. If I just take those off, you can see that that does look like actual headlamps. Uh, problem is, loads and loads of item frames will cause a lot of lag, so I actually go with the torches because it lights them up. It doesn't look terrible, you know, it's like a... It doesn't look terrible, but, you know, it looks good. Or you can go with both, as, you, as I'm showing you guys uh, right now. There you go, so you can just go with both red lamps on the back. Okay, so let's actually get started on this bit. So if we just grab a stair, I'm going to shove the stair onto this bit here. And I'm also going to put a fence just on the side like that. If we grab these bits, so we've got some stone, and we've also got some buttons. I'm just going to put two pieces of stone on the side here. And let's put a button on the front, and a button on the back. So these are the buoyancy tanks that you had on the side. I can only vaguely remember it because my memory is terrible, but I do remember those. So we've got those there. Uh, we're also going to have a sign on the side here. Now you can do that on the normal vehicle as well. Sign on the side there, like that. Then what we'll do is we're going to grab we're gonna grab the stone bricks there, an anvil, and also iron bars. So we'll grab those ones like that. So right here, stone bricks there going this way. Then right down here we're going to have to take away the number plate. But we're going to put on two iron bars on this bit. And an anvil facing that way like that. And that will give you the actual engine block. Now, you can also, of course, if you don't want that front, you can actually put the um, flower pot on it. It's really up to you. If you do put the flower pot on it, you might want to use like a normal white block in this. Uh, but it's completely up to you. But there you go, guys. Another cool design. That is the Toy Boater um, by TJC05. Again, you guys can check them out on Planet Minecraft if you want to. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.